Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Shubham and you are watching Let Create an App. So in this video we are going to talk about how we can create a table view programmatically. So this is the demo which I have already created. So in this video, uh, this is a table view with a cell and an image and two labels. So all the things which you are seeing in this video is done by programming. Uh, no storyboard is used in this thing. and uh, I am creating this video because one of the subscriber told me to create a table view on a button click so you can uh, create this thing on the button click also and uh, you can also comment your own functionality just what kind of functionality you want from me so that I also work on that part and create videos on that and I have also created a Facebook group so you guys can join me on that group. Uh, and all the social contact links are mentioned in the description and uh, if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for getting all this kind of ios cool stuff so let's start the video let's create an app so open next code click on single view application click on next and give the name whatever you want to give i'm just giving programmatically table view and be sure the language should be swift and click on next and uh, just create this project where you want to create so now our project is created now let's move to the view controller and now first we have to create one variable of a table view type this is of uh, ui table view like this simply as we create any object of kind string or any kind of uh, label button something like this and now first we have to set up this table view in the terms of setup we are talking about the frames the data data source delegate and background color all these things according to your need you can change and modify all the things just like separator also so for let uh, for for that i am just creating one function that is set table view like this and the table view first we have to set the frames of this table view so for framing i am using uh, the view frames same as table view frames now uh, i want to set the background color for this table view dot background color is equals to ui color dot transparent dot clear like this and now we have to add this table view into the uh, sub view of view so for that we have to write cell dot view dot add sub view and in this we have to add this table view so our table view is added into a view controller with the whole screen completion so in you can also use this kind of scenario where you want to add only on so only on a small part of screen so you ha only have to change the frames of the table view and that is completely works sim similar like this now we have to also define the data source and delegate of this table view so we can also define these data source and delegates uh, over here so table view dot delegate is equals to self like this and for data source dot data source is equals to self like this so we can simply define both the things over here so this is showing an error yes definitely it will show an error because uh, we didn't define the data source and, and, and delegate protocols confirm the protocols over here so for that we have to write the methods of delegate methods and data source method in the extension so let's write the methods so first we have to create the extension and in this view controller and this is uh, confirm the protocol of table view delegate and UI table view data source these two uh, protocols we need to confirm and these errors are gone but still uh, it will come up an error over here that we need to implement this uh, that uh, delegate method of these two protocols so the first is self for weight index bar or, or the number of items uh, number of rows in section so in this i'm just simply returning 10 and for uh, the other method is self for weight index bar so this will be this this method we will talk a little bit later so first let's create a cell so for creating a cell we have to first register a cell with the name so for simpler simply registration of the cell we have to write uh, sorry table view dot uh, and there is one simple method that is register this is register this one so in this register we have to simply define the cell class and a cell identifier you can also use nib uh, 
that is a just like say, table view dot register you can also define the nib or something like this but i'm i have just used these two methods the this one and this one for registering nib you can use this and for a cell class you can use this method so we are going to create a cell class in this uh, tutorial so i am using this uh, method so in this uh, right now just simply define the table view cell not this one ui table view cell this one dot self dot self i guess yeah dot self and the reusable identifier is cell is c capital so we have created one uh, cell and we have registered that cell uh, in the table view so now let's call this set table view method from the view did load and this is just i've called this method and uh, now let's create uh, the cell in the cell for OIT index path so let cell is equals to ui table view or like table view to dq cell with reusable identifier and this you have to pass the cell index path and now we have to simply uh, return this cell or we can say that cell dot uh, we have uh, three uh, default properties which are associated with the cell uh, x label a, a subtitle and an image so we can use these three properties in this uh, so we can print an index path over here so let's check that is it coming or not index path dot row something like this and we simply return this cell so now let's run and check that it is working fine or not in this situation then we will design our own cell by using a simple cell class and if you don't know how to uh, populate a table view by using storyboard please go and check it out my video in, with, in that video i'll just uh, clear all the basic things of table view this is a this is a uh, tutorial in which we are going to learn a programmatical table view so tada this is done it's completely good it's showing a table view from 0 to 9 means 10 cells which we have defined over here the number of cells and it will print all the things perfectly but the cells are a default thing and the, there is a separator between the cells so first let's remove remove this separator so for removing the separator table view dot separator color is equals to ui color dot clear something like this we have to define over here so by doing this i guess we we will uh, remove the separator so let's run and check this thing again that after doing this we will uh, remove this thing or not so yeah uh, our separator color is gone now now it's completely uh, clear as you see now let's design the cell so for designing a cell as, as we have in our uh, demo application so this is our demo application so as we have this thing in our demo application for designing a cell first we need a view just simply like this with uh, 5 or 8 pixels from the both the sides leading and trailing so for that first uh, i need to create one more class so for uh, press command plus n click on cocoa touch class and select a uh, ui table view cell class and give the name of this uh, cell to custom table view cell like this and create this thing in the hierarchy something like this now we have to create some properties as we have in our demo application so first let's create this view a white view you can change the color according to your requirement so i'm just simply creating a view by using lazy property as i know that as you guys know that i have already uh, taught about a lazy property in the previous video so lazy property is a property like uh, whenever we use this variable then it will get memory allocated otherwise it will not take any kind of memory at the initial when initializing this class this will only take memory when when we uh, initialize this variable so we have to uh, uh, create a back view that is a white white view uh, so i'm just creating a closure for this thing uh, to create this uh, back view so in this we have to create one view and that is of ui view type in the frames we have to pass cg rec and in the cg rec we have to pass uh, this one so uh, as we see in the uh, this demo there is a 
10 pixel or 8 pixels of gap from the leading and similarly 10 and 8 pixels of gap from the uh, trailing so for achieving this thing first we have to define the x and that is x is 10 and from y it is uh, just like a simple cell so this is a complete cell this is a complete cell so in which from leading which we have defined 10 from y it's just like 2 pixel 3 pixels from top means from up, 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 up area so I'm just defining a uh, 6 and the width of the cell is just like self dot uh, uh, frames dot width something like this so the width of this uh, back view is similar with the table view width right now but we have to minus some width which is from uh, leading and trailing thing so let's minus uh, the 10 pixels of x and 10 pixels of the 10 pixels of leading and 10 pixels of trailing so total 20 pixels we have to remove from the uh, this width scenario and the height is just like whatever height you want to do i'm just taking uh, a height of uh, uh, 110 110 like this now uh, let's define some more properties for this view so view dot background color is equals to ui color dot white something like this and uh, just simply uh, return this thing return view so by doing these things we will we will able to get the uh, uh, white view in our application now we have to add this back view on the sub view of or content view of the cell so adding the this back view on the uh, content view of a cell we have to write uh, um, add sub view so this will automatically giving giving up a giving a option of adding a sub view on a cell so that is a back view something like this now we can uh, assign this cell class to this table which we have registered the cell over here like this simply like this now let's turn and check that it is working fine or not so for me i don't think that it is working fine because we didn't define uh, provide the height of the cell so it's not working as i as i told you previously it's not working so let's uh, define the height of the cell first so uh, the method is uh, height for a row index path i guess height for yeah it and in this we have to return uh, so the cell height we have taken is 110 110 and definitely this height is uh, the actual height of the cell is more than this because it's a view and we have taken a y position to 6 so the height of a cell is uh, 122 because 6 of 6 pixel of y from the top and 6 pixel of uh, y from the bottom you can change according to your net for example if i am taking a height of 118 so from bottom it will take 2 and from top it will take 6 so that's that's completely your understanding that what you have to do so i'm just taking 118 let's take 118 and check that it is working fine or not and uh, one more thing uh, we have to define the background color of this table view so let's define the background color of this table view table view dot uh, background color equals to ui color dot i'm just using red color so this is cool now let's run and check that it is working fine or not uh, so the red color is coming and the background color is also coming in red but these all are cells we are not able to see the view so for that first let's make the uh, content view because there is a content view and a cell so let's we can check this thing like uh, changing the color of the cell so let's change the color to green and then we can run and check that it is uh, coming in a green or not the cell is coming in the green or not so it's a yeah so cool we are getting a cell in our uh, table view according to our need completely now this is a content view which we have to or this is a table view background color which is clear i guess this is a content view so we have to uh, make the content view color also clear and the background color of a cell also clear so then we are able to get the background color of this view controller so let's uh, change two more properties in this uh, cell class 
so for that we have to uh, define one more uh, method that is a uh, layout if needed uh, layout sub uh, that one that is a uh, layouts lay, layout sub views yeah this one and in this we have to first get the content view dot uh, background color is equals to ui color ui color dot clear this one and uh, uh, we have to also define the background color of the cell so background color is equals to ui color dot clear this one and uh, uh, the corner radius of the cells are also not uh, visible so we can def also define the corner radius of the cell so back view dot we can also define this corner radius at the top or you can also define this corner radius over here so dot layer dot corner radius is equals to 5 pixel and we have to also define the clip to bound back view dot clip to bound is equals to true something like this so now let's uh, run and check that it is uh, working fine or not this is very easy functionality now uh, if you guys uh, understanding each and every concept so we are able to get the things the white lines which are coming the white uh, background is coming is now gone and we are able to get the clear vision of uh, the view controller color or a table view uh, view controller color background color and clear table view so these are the cells now we can design our cell and the content which as we have in our demo application just simply like this so let's uh, move forward now our cell background is created now we have to create more properties in the cell like this image view and these two labels so for uh, doing this we need to create more properties something like this back view in this uh, class so simply like use lazy where image is equals to or we can say that image view uh, this will not work we have to say user image of it is of kind ui image view and uh, in this we have to define let uh, user image is equals to uh, ui image view something like this and in this we have to define this cg rect and then this cg rect we have to define uh, this x y and uh, width and height so when we saw this uh, cell there is some position now whatever we will add will be on this back view not on this uh, cell class so uh, we will give uh, x position with this back view so there is a some uh, space between if you didn't uh, see that uh, let's increase the so there is some kind of a four pixel gap from x position so let's uh, define x as a uh, 4 pixel and uh, y is just like uh, there is some space from y also so that is also 4 it is also 4 and now this is one of the critical thing which we have to think right now for example uh, just like because we are having a height of our back view is 110 so the whole cell size is 110 and we have defined 4 pixels from here and 4 pixels from here so this is 4 pixel and this is also comes to 4 pixels so we have to remove these 8 pixels before defining the image size or you can choose a little bit less that's cool that doesn't matter at all but I prefer that uh, try to create a cell with this uh, height only so that we can easily add the image on the cell with the circular format so the width is just like uh, 110 minus 8 or we can also increase the size of this uh, y position also so let's take the y position to 6 so we need to uh, minus 12 from this 110 and that is 108 so this is a height and this is a width of this cell because we uh, this view because we need to uh, make it circular so we need to make this image view in a uh, uh, rectangle format sorry square format so this is a user image dot uh, content mode and we have to define the content mode and the content mode is aspect fit aspect fit like this and now we have to simply return this uh, image user image something like this uh, but uh, aspect fit will not uh, complete our uh, 
requirement let's change it to aspect fill this one so this is uh, all we need to do about the image view now simply we have to define the uh, label and the la na name label and this is of ui label type like this now we have to set a label is equals to ui label like this and simply we again need to think of how we can how we can uh, set the x position y position all these things so this is also going to add on this back view with which is uh, a side width of this user image so the user image uh, width is 108 and from x it's 4 so it's already occupied 112 pixels from left to right position and we also need a little bit 4 pixel of gap between the image view and this label so the x position of this uh, this label is quite is like uh, 116 something like this and from the y position this image view is starting from y 6 pixels so this is 6 pixels and we want this image view a little bit down from the 6 pixels so it's just like 10 pixels or 8 pixels you can define any uh, according to your need and the width so the this is again one of the complex thing thing which we uh, going to create so the width of this label is always less or simply let's uh, look into the demo so the width of the label is always from here to here only not from outside this uh, cell or on the image or this like kind of a thing so we can define the width of the image something like this self dot frame dot width so by doing this or we can use uh, not self back view yeah back view dot frame dot width and by doing this we are able to get the uh, width of this back view and we need to subtract the uh, image view and all the spaces which we have provided from left and right so by doing this thing we able to get the uh, width of this name label so let's uh, subtract the high, uh, width is 108 and the x position is 4 so 112 and uh, 4 pixels more so 116 you can minus and height is 30 you can also increase the height if you have multiple lines like this now let's uh, change the alignment of this uh, label so label dot text alignment is equals to uh, center or oh, sorry left dot left and uh, now simply return this uh, sorry return return the label uh, one more thing that we can also define the this label as a bold so simply we have to write font is equals to ui font and this this is a bold system font and the font size of this uh, thing is just like 18 this is a good size i guess so we have defined the user image we have defined the name label now let's define the age label also just copy this thing and paste over here and just change the name to age label some simply like this now we only have to uh, change the frames so from max it will also remain uh, remain uh, 116 from y it will change because 8 is st starting position of the name label and height of the name label is 30 so we have to increase this to 38 because it's now or we can also change the height to 42 a little bit space between both the labels and width is remain same height is also remain same the position is and we all need to remove this thing like this now we have to add this all these things in this back view so for adding we have to simply follow the same thing which we have do every time so back view dot add sub view and in this sub view we have to add the image view or user image dot add sub view and this name label back view dot age label 
it's oh sorry it's a view and it is age label something like this so we have set it all the things now let's check that it is coming or not right now it, it will not coming because we didn't pass any data so definitely it should not come so let's change this thing to white again because the green is like little bit dark so our application is uh, working fine right now now we have to uh, create the data so that we can check the data is coming or not so for that first let's move to the view controller and create one model class over here so let's class use a model like this and this is a simple class in this we have only three properties that is a user image user image it is it is of ui image type ui image type optional where name which is also of string type and it is also option and the age this is also string this is optional now we have to init this class and in this init parameters we have to define the image user image simply you can see that user image and this is of uh, ui image type something like this i should be capital we have to follow the camel case and uh, in this uh, we have to define the name it is also of string type and the age this is also of string type something like this now self dot user name is equals to user image is equals to user image something like this self dot name is equals to name self dot h is equals to h something like this so our user model is created so this is a simple way how we can create a model so if you people having a quite a problem in creating model so this is a very simple model which you guys can create and work on this and you can create any complex model also by using the simple theory of this uh, model now let's create one element or array of this model type so where a uh, user model is of array of a uh, user model type simple like this now let's append some values in this uh, array model so for appending some values in this array model first we have to uh, import the images so let's let's move to the asset folder and i've already uh, downloaded some images so i guess these all are the images which i've downloaded and that's it now uh, let's move to the view controller and in the view did load so i have set up this uh, array so all the things are set up in this model now let's uh, move to this controller and uh, now let's uh, get the cell so first let uh, create a guard statement over here guard let as and this is of uh, our cell type so this is our custom cell type custom table to cell and we have to use else statement and we have to simply return over here like this now we have to type cell dot and you we can we can get the user image over here dot image is equals to so from uh, image we have to use this user array user arr and in this index part dot row if you don't know how to populate all these things you can go and check out my other videos on uh, table view i've already created a series on this table view for better understanding so you guys can go and check out uh, table view series with you uh, with storyboard this is a without storyboard thing cell dot uh, name label dot text text is equal to similar thing Next part dot row dot name cell dot age label dot text is equals to user array dot text files always coming with this thing dot age something like this. I've done. Uh, it's showing an error that it's an should return. Uh, should return. Okay, so it should return. So we will not return over here. 
we will only say fatal error okay unable to create cell something like this now let's turn and check that it is working fine or not so let's see how we have pro progressed so it's get crashed uh, i don't know why it's get crashed and even it didn't uh, prompt any kind of error to me that why it's get crashed so let's check that first thing that are we able to get the cell or not yes we are able to get the cell uh, but we are not able to get the image i guess yeah. okay okay fine yeah we have a 10 counts which is not true so we have to type user array dot counts yeah like like here we have done so this is the issue i guess it will moving beyond the array so this is the cells are created something like this so it's looking cool but uh, the images are not properly set up according to our need so the size of the images are coming big means we have done some kind of uh, uh, mathematical mistake over there or we have uh, uh, give a little bit space at the bottom of the cells so that's the that's the issue also maybe over there so there is no worry you can uh, go through all each and everything and uh, done according to yourself so this will give a better understanding to you now we are only going to uh, make the images into, into the circular format so image view or that name of this is user image user image dot layer dot corner radius and the height of the image view is 108 so we have to divide it by 2 so 108 divided by 2 that is a 54 54 and we also need to define the clip to bound clip to code and clip to bound clip to bound is equals to true now let's run and check that it is working fine or not so i think uh, we have done we have completed a table view without any storyboard and it's looking cool so it's cutting from the bottom uh, so we can uh, do one thing that uh, we can reduce the height of the cell 204 and uh, we also reduce the corner radius to 52 And check uh, that it is coming fine or not so this is all related to the coordinate uh, gaming if if you are able to uh, work with the coordinates properly then it will come perfectly otherwise it will not come perfectly uh, it's we have taken a size of the cell yeah that's the issue it's it, this is the issue we have taken less size we have to increase the size because we have increased the uh, uh, height and width height of this uh, image view and all the other elements of the image view so that's the issue yeah uh, we have picked up the issue that's cool so this is uh, what we have done and it's looking cool you can change according to your need now uh, i don't think that uh, doing th changes right now it's uh, cool so you can change and uh, so now you can play around all this code and all these coordinates all these frames and you can uh, draw all the things according to your need even you can use ns layout constraint programmatical constraints for better uh, ui for multiple uh, lines of uh, labels over here so you can use ns layout constraints uh, programmatical constraints definitely i'll create video on that also that how we can uh, define ns layout constraint programmatically so this is for today uh, if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for getting all this kind of uh, ios stuff please share the video thank you